Good morning, everybody. Who do I see in chat? Aiden Galagos, NCFX, STI. Everybody be cool. There's mods in the house. Temporal Coins. Alistair Black. Who else do we have in here? James Eller, J. Edwards. Coin. Boom. Let me make sure I mute that. Handy Andy, 736. Did I already say S. Robbins? Uh-oh. It's, it's too early for me to start repeating myself. Karsten, Hunt, Silver, Michael Kidder, Rare Coins, Freedom Coins, the luckiest man in all coin roll hunting. And a special shout out to him, which I'll explain to you why in a little bit. Jay Lewis, Jonathan Reese, Mike the Greek, Tilly Cheese. Uh, this would be easier if I put on my glasses. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Welcome to Saturday. We made it through another week. And what a long, strange week it has been. Am I right? Debbie Honeybee, Ellen Reiser. Ellen, check out. Whoops, there. Check out what's over my left shoulder. That's right. It's Penny Dog, the original Penny Dog that Ellen created for me. Thank you so much. All I, <laughs> I'm getting Rocky Superstar. Good morning. Boston Baked Beans, B3, Brad Burge, Kellen L. Coin Hunting Couple. Well, hello, Nate. How are you? It's so good to see you. And there's Train Watcher Dawn. And today's left hand is brought to you by Michael Kittle Rare Coins, kittlecoins.com. Check out his channel and congratulations to him for reaching uh, 2,000 friends on YouTube. Congratulations, sir. Uh, I'm already getting requests for this. So, you know, I have to, I have to do what people ask me to do. Where is it? the um where's the super chat button it's in review right now yes thanks to you guys i did hit uh 4, hours so i was able to uh watch hours that is and so i was able to put in my application to be monetized so it's going to take a you know a few days i don't know how long really to get that going but thank you guys all for that uh prince of silver <laughs> hello how do you buy one of your penny dog screwdrivers i do have a few left. Let's see. I know I'm not doing a very good job. I'm trying to keep my my cameras out of my face. You know, this one. I'll come up with a better system soon. But let me show you. If you would like your very own, you can donate uh, any amount. Seriously, any amount. doesn't matter. To uh, webrules at gmail.com through PayPal. Uh, friends and family. So... And I will send that out to you. Be sure that you put your um, mailing address in there, of course. Byron the Collector, <laughs> how are you doing? It's good to see you. Byron the Collector, that reminds me. Where, where is he? Oh, here we go. Byron the Collector has a hairless cat named Gollum, and who is pretty cute. And I wasn't able to get Gollum's. I couldn't have... Uh, I didn't have time to type up the whole name and everything, but check it out. That is Byron the Collector's cute hairless cat. Check that out. Look at those paws. Those paws look squishy. So <laughs> there he is, Gollum. Those big blue eyes. Cute stuff for sure. Greg King, the king of all Gregs. Woof, woof. How are you, Bill Gibson? It's good to see you. Well, I'm hoping for a box like last Wednesday when I had uh, three war nickels, a buffalo, I think two proofs, um, and then a couple of chrome plated. I mean, it was a good, interesting box. So all these boxes came from the same bank at the same time. So who knows what we'll find? We'll check it out. Um, speaking of banks, you guys, so... Uh, as you know, coin roll hunting and getting boxes and dumping coins is getting really uh, complicated, at least where I come from. Dwayne Roberts, hello. Thank you so much, Dwayne. I appreciate that. Um, 
Oh, cool. Okay. I sure will, Rocky Superstar. I will go and rewatch Big Mel's stream. Um, so I usually dump coins at um, banks that have coin machines. Those are all closed, of course. So <clears throat> I had my first experience of, <laughs> of taking wrapped uh, half dollars to the bank. And I called him first and I have a business account there. And I called him first and I said, hey, I've got some coins. I didn't tell him it was half dollars, but I said, I have several hundred dollars in, in coins, wrapped, uh, rolled coins. Can I bring it through the drive through And they said, yeah, just, you know, <clears throat> come through the lane with the drawer. And I said, okay, great. So I did that. And the guy looked at me like I had just shoved a turd into that little bank drawer. He was so not pleased to see an entire box of rolled half dollars. So, and then, so it took him a while. It was really funny. Of course, nobody's in the bank and I'm the only one in the drive-thru. So I, I don't think they were particularly busy. I could see right in there and they weren't on the phones. So, you know, not much going on, but <clears throat> I could see them talking to each other and looking at this box of half dollars. And then he comes back um, with my money. So, you know, they, they did do the transaction, but uh, he goes, ma'am, um, just curious, how did you, how did your business come by all these half dollars? And I did not have an answer for him. <laughs> Usually I am pretty good at thinking on my feet and saying something, but <clears throat> nothing. I just kind of looked at him and said, oh, we just had him around the office terrible, terrible answer. Terrible. He just kind of looked at me like, uh-huh, please don't ever come back here again. So that was my first experience with a whole entire box of rolled half dollars. So Debbie Honeybee, did I say hello to you? It's good to see you. How is everybody doing? Debbie Honeybee is now chatting in German. Boom. There you go. I guess translator, but I really appreciate it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we could throw it into Google Translator. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Harrison, the coin guy, DMC coins, videos, woof. Good. Yeah, dumping coins is actually truly a nightmare. It really, really is. Um, and I want to give a big shout out. Of course, my face itches already. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Freedom Coins, he, uh, you guys, so my bank, again, a different pickup bank, didn't order my half dollars, and I understand why, they actually didn't order any coins at all. So <clears throat> they just, you know, and I can understand that, they're not gonna order a box of halves just for me, so I get it. But uh, I had planned, and this is so like a shout out, thank you, and kind of a special announcement um, all in one, on Wednesday, I am going to have a box of half dollars um, that I am going to uh, have tears for and accept donations for. And um, thanks to my buddy, Freedom Coins, who since I couldn't get a box, he actually uh, hooked me up with some all the way in Nebraska. So they are on their way to the great state of OHIO. Thank you, Freedom Coins. We had a little transaction there. So I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So how many people? We've got 37 people watching, 28 likes. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't done so already, please smash the like button. Boom. Just smash it right like that. Right like that. Okay. Man, I keep finding these old ones, and of course, they're just 64s. Boo. Boo. What's everybody doing? Oh, Robinhood Coins is here? Well, hello, Robinhood Coins. How are you? It's good to see you. Boom. Robinhood Coins is here, everybody. And if there are people in chat that you're uh, not sure if you are YouTube friends with, please go make YouTube friends with them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this, this is for, especially for uh, <laughs> Robin Hood's little helpers. Yep. There you go. Just a boxer. This is how I felt all week. I think everybody's felt this way all week. Just, this is going to be a long, long, long month, I think. And we've only just begun. 
we've only just begun. So we'll see if this box is as good as Wednesdays because Rocky Mountain Bear in the house. How are the pups, Rocky Mountain Bear? Are they hanging in there? They're probably as happy as all the pups, uh, not necessarily the cats of the world because the dogs, everybody's at home. So all the dogs are happy. <clears throat> all the dogs. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Robin Hood Coins. I'm glad that you are here. Very awesome of you. And let's just start off. <laughs> I want to show you guys something. This is especially, again, for Robin Hood Coins. And you can replay this if your little helpers aren't around. But this is called Animals Just Being Jerks. Sometimes they're jerks. We love them, but sometimes they're jerks. Here you go. Enjoy. Is anybody thinking the same thing on that woman that her dog just ran into the pond to get the, the ducks and just let go, just let go, right? <laughs> let go of the dog's leash. Oh boy. Hey, the Webster, my dad is in the house. Everybody say, Hey dad to the Webster. How's it going, dad? Hi mom. How are you guys hanging in there? Hope everybody is safe and feeling well and well stocked. <sighs> okay, Brad Burge in the house. Samuel Phillips, hello. I needed that laugh. <laughs> Good, Greg King. I am glad. That's, uh, hey, well, I got a Canadian. Something, something here. Let's put that under there. Ooh, that's not very focused, is it? There we go. That's better. Canadian, we'll take it, right? I mean, we'll see. I think uh, it was like the third or fourth roll on Wednesday. I'd already found a war nickel. So, I mean, you know, this box better step it up here pretty soon. Yeah, is a, uh, <laughs> like I was saying on when, or yeah, Wednesday, I found out that my brother John is a lurker on this channel. He's a lurker. So uh, John, hi, you could just come in the chat. Everybody would be really nice to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Michael Coretta in the house. Good morning, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Freedom Coins is going to pick up an entire silver collection, picking up a full silver collection. All right, that sounds like fun. Seriously, if you guys ever wanted to know where all the silver is, uh, Freedom Coins has it in Nebraska. That's where it all goes. I think it just gravitates to the center of, of the country. And it's right there. Baseman64, my bank pranked me on April, April 1st, so I made a video about it. I had to recover from the shame first. They gave me one half dollar. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, man. That's funny that they did that, especially being a bank. So what is going on, everybody? Swamp thing, swamp thing. Where's the turd at? Fleabag says, turd is working. We were going to have a big celebration, 1946. We were going to have a big cel birthday celebration for her because it is her birthday. But then, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, Turd is in the medical field. So she is one of those people that we are so, so incredibly thankful for right now. Um, and she's, you know, just working and working and working. So we will put, uh, we'll, we will still have a celebration. We'll just delay it a little bit. But if you have Turd's email address, I'm sure she would appreciate an email uh, birthday wish. And I'll just put it down there. Treasure Turd 2019 at gmail.com. So, I'm sure she would appreciate that because working on your birthday is no fun, especially in the, this environment. So the Creepy Lurker 5 just stopping by to smash the like. Thank you, Creepy Lurker. You wouldn't happen to be my brother, would you? Because I can see him uh, making that name for himself. Steve Kenyon 
How is it going? Linda Wallace, hello. Crappy Tim, how is it going? It's good to see you guys here. All the good people are here. Oh no, Samuel Phillips, what happened? Why has it been marked as undeliverable, Sam? Uh, it was, I mean, it was in a, if it fits, it ships and it was well below the weight. So I wonder, did something happen to it? I packaged it up very well. Oh, you can't, Karsten says he um, can't send packages to the US anymore. Oh, bummer. Well, just have to wait. It'll make it even more special, I'm sure. Weird times, you guys, weird times. But today in central Ohio, the sun is out. That's kind of a rarity. And uh, it's going to be pretty warm. I think it's gonna be in the high 60s. So pretty excited about that. For sure. Um, of course, really, all that means is yard work. Lots and lots of yard work. Green Ghost says this too will pass. Absolutely. It will. We just got to stay home, do our thing, you know, just be smart. That's all we can do. That doesn't mean that we can't have some fun looking for uh, through the coins that we can get. <laughs> the coins that we can get from our banks, you know, we can all still hang out have a good time, talk about, you know, whatever, absolutely whatever. So uh, I only watched a little bit of Rob's stream last night. Did he find a lot of silver or or what was up with that? I watched some uh, Saka Plata last night and I love his streams. He is a good guy. His uh, daughter Gigi helps him out. So she does the wheel spins and she's got lots of good luck, which is Tons of fun. Rayman 6700 in the house. It's good to see you. Arrow Coins, hi y'all. Good to see you. Um, absolutely, Samuel Phillips. Yes, yes, yes. Send that over. I will uh I will definitely show show that. It might take me a second to, you know, load it and do all that stuff, but I certainly will. I'll be happy, happy, happy to. Oh, he filled the board. Okay, temporal coins. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks for following up with that. <clears throat> yep. I'm glad somebody is still finding silver and, and able to get the boxes and everything. I have a, some really cool stuff to show you today. I And I'm just going to start off with something fun. I want to know which one of these you had. Um, because anybody that was a kid in the 80s and probably the 70s, I think these came out in the late 70s, but all through the 80s. Uh, everybody had these, one of these, one version. So tell me which one you had. I'm Football One, Mattel's lowest price electronic football game. And I'm electronic quarterback, Coleco's lowest price. I run from the line of scrimmage. I start in the backfield and follow my blockers. Blockers? I don't have any blockers. I got seven men on defense. Seven? I've only got five. I can even pass. I can't pass. My receiver runs short, long, any pattern. Pattern? I don't even have a receiver. Or I can score a safety. A safety? Can... Coleco's electronic quarterback. A lot more football for the money. Which one did you have? You had both, Michael Kittle? Man, Michael Kittle. Boom. Michael Kittle's parents were balling back in the 80s. It was too poor to have one, the Creepy Lurker 5 says. Uh, oh, Wacky Wings had the baseball. Okay. Yeah, you had the one on the left, Alan. So did I. I had the Coleco one. But I had friends who had the um, Mattel one. And I always wanted the Mattel one because it looked cooler. I don't know. Michael Kittle says, I was spoiled. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, I was spoiled. Yep. And I didn't have them. My brothers had them, but uh, I still, and I never really understood how to play it because it was just, have you played those as an adult, by the way, you can still buy them. They still make those brand new, but uh, I don't know if they've improved the, you know, if it's still exactly the same little red blips on the screen, but whew, if you play those as an adult, it's like playing an Oregon trail now <clears throat> where you just, you know, get dysentery and, and die. Oregon Trail, remember that game? But I used to love the handheld games. Do you guys, oh, you know what? I'm gonna write this down. 
Do you guys remember Merlin? I'm going to look up the commercial for that. Steve File says, I was too young for those. We had Tiger Electronics, garbage handhelds when I was a kid. Yes, I remember those too. The Tiger ones, the Mattel one. Yep. Mint State Numismatics. Hello, it's good to see you. You still have, Michael Kittle, your Atari 2600 and Frogger. I loved, loved, love. Oregon Trail prepared us all for this day and age, right? Exactly. We, yeah, we should all be prepared after playing Oregon Trail throughout our childhood. That's funny. Not many finds in this box. Come on. <clears throat> but yeah, do you guys remember, um, do you remember Merlin? Merlin was a game. It was a handheld electronic game, but it had a bunch of different games on it. It had like tic-tac-toe and like uh, memory or whatever it was called and all that good stuff. All right, Samuel, let me, give me a minute here, everybody. I, we want to um, show a picture <laughs> uh, of baby Robert. So I am going to make sure everybody can see this. It's going to take a second. So please be patient. Talk, talk amongst yourselves. Kenneth Goodson had a Merlin. Yep, Rayman 6700. I love my red Merlin. Absolutely. Those things were fun. They had a bunch of games on them. Uh, I, I'll have to look that up. I only remember really um, tic-tac-toe and concentration or memory, whatever it was called. So, <clears throat> but super fun. All right. Let me upload Baby Robert. You have a Merlin? Temporal Coins? Whoa. That is super cool. All right, let me see. Everybody, please take a second and check out cute, cute baby Robert. This is Samuel Phillips, little baby boy, who had some rough early first days, but he is obviously doing much better now. Check it out. What a cute, cute baby. Wow. We're so happy that he's doing better. And that everybody in your your family is is doing better these days, Samuel. So absolutely, <laughs> so cute, awesome. Uh, my dad says that my brother had a Merlin and he took it apart. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. Uh, Debbie Honeybee, do you mind throwing all those 2005 baby bison to the side? I'll send you a mystery package in exchange. Sure. Really? Okay. All right, I'll try to remember. <laughs> I'll try to remember. I can always go back through them. I can always. <laughs> Robin Hood Coin says, yep, even the little helpers say that baby Robert's adorable. How cute. How cute. Wait, you said the 2000 and just the baby. Okay, just the bison. All right, not the 2004s as well. I gotcha. All right, Debbie Honeybee, our Southern Bale. Uh, this box is not producing like the last one is uh amber or mandy ellison in the house i'm curious to see if they are in chat perhaps they are lurking because i have a question for them <laughs> the little helper is asking if you can play another dog video or show your puppy please absolutely um let's see what do i have queued up i'm sure i'll have something Hang on. I've always got lots of stuff ready, but give me a second, little helpers. <laughs> All right. Mm -mm -mm. See, you asked me for stuff, and then I'm like, okay, I have to. <laughs> oh, here's one. Here we go. Give it a second to upload. Freedom Co or um, Robin Hood coins, and then I will play it for the little helpers. This is one uh, shameless animal video that was on about a month ago. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this is my 20th Saturday live stream. What do you think about that? Can you believe that 1946? Um, the first one I did was r the week before Thanksgiving. Does that not sound like a million years ago? The week before Thanksgiving. Wow. 
That's crazy. <clears throat> Thank you, Gringo. I will check it out. Yeah, I really appreciate it when you guys send emails to me and you're like, hey, check these out. Check this out. Um, I always appreciate that. And a lot of stuff I end up using on the stream. So I appreciate that. Here we go. Robin Hood coins, little helpers. Today's and it's a rerun, but it's a good one. As Creator Zoss says, it's old, but it's gold. Uh, shameless animal video. <laughs> I know that looks scarier than it is. It looks like uh, that dog is going off a cliff. They were not. It's just a little like waiting pool. So <laughs> thank you for the congratulations on the 20th stream. I know I'll, I'll be 21 soon. Can you imagine? Wow. 21 again. Now I've got to remember to put all these little bison. Okay. At least there's something else to look forward to. Now I can look for the little bison for Debbie Honeybee. Oh, 1964. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. This box is not producing much. I I know. Yep. Uh, Tilly Cheese, you're right. We were supposed to have this big blowout. I thought hopefully I would be, my application for monetization would be through. Uh, Turd would be on here. We we're going to have a big party. It's going to be super awesome. It didn't work out, but as we have learned uh, these days, we just have to adapt and uh, pivot a little bit. That looks like somebody hand rolled this one. That's weird. Somebody's been chewing on the end of that one. <laughs> You're welcome, Robin Hood Coins. You are welcome. I just realized I have top chat on here, not live chat. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Aiden Gallegos, you are awesome. Mods extraordinaire. I have the best mods in all of the YouTubes. Faux show. Be even better if we could find some, I don't know, interesting coins, some more nickels. Um anything. <laughs> Sublime Mad Dog. Woof. It's so good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. Yep, that's exactly right, base man. Yep, when I turn 21. I can drink again. There you go. <laughs> okay. We do have a mid box giveaway and an end of stream giveaway. Mid box giveaway is a 40% silver half dollar, 1968. A war nickel. This was actually one of the war nickels I found on Wednesday and a three gram silver star. Those are so cool. I really like those. And uh, I think our end of stream giveaway is, yep, exactly the same. Boom. And again, that was one of the war nickels that I found on Wednesday's box. Oh, you guys, you know what? What I didn't do, and I don't think, is Coin Quester or Coin, yeah, Coin Quester in the house. Um, I wanted to do a shout out. CoinQuester, and I didn't know this until I just got this package in the mail um, from Coin Hunting Couple. We all know that logo. It's Penny Dog. Awesome gift from CoinQuester. Hope you enjoy. Stay safe and healthy, Coin Hunting Couple. And this, so there's a 2018 NIFC in here. There is, wow, two Liberty Nickels, two V Nickels. There are two Buffaloes. Check that out. A war nickel. My favorite, the Merc Dime. Two silver rosies. And one of the cute little grams. Check it out. And that all came from CoinQuester. So thank you, CoinQuester. I will be sure to give them a proper shout out and email. But also my good buddy, NCFX STI sent me, knew that I loved Merc Dimes and just the design of the Merc Dime and sent me this beautiful silver round. Check that out. It's in a little capsule there. And he knows that I like to do different uh, projects, like different 
crafts and everything with uh, watch parts, old watch parts. So check this out. He sent me an entire bag of watch parts and I'm gonna make him something cool. Actually, his lady friend. I'm gonna make his lady friend something cool. So thank you, NCFX STI. I sure do appreciate that. Okay, back to the hunt. Yep, uh, Debbie Honeybee, I'm not, you know, I don't um, know CoinQuester that much. So I was really surprised to get something from them. I don't know if it's a guy or girl. I don't want to make any assumptions. But um, so I will have to reach out, make sure that they know how grateful I am and we'll become better YouTube friends for sure. Let's see. We've got 50 people watching now. So happy that you're hanging out today. I hope everybody is doing okay. Is everybody tired of being on video conferences? And, you know, I, I don't get me wrong. I look forward 1948. It's an old one. I think I'll just put it under there. Just cause 1948 Philadelphia. Um, the, the live streams are kind of a lot like uh, conference calls, video conferencing that we have all the time now, constantly, except the live streams are great because you're, you're in control, you know, and uh, there's only one connection that you have to worry about your own, not everybody else's and they're, you know, their stream freezing up or whatever. Oh, wow. Jonathan Reese says, Penny Dog, I made the three gram silver star I won from you into a pendant and wear it on my necklace. That's awesome. Super cool. That's great. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Um, those are really cool. Those little three grams. Alistair Black says, I'm just tired of unboxing everything. Yeah. Alistair Black had a, I, I think it was a flood in his, well, Technically, it was a flood. I think it was like a, the upstairs apartment flooded into his. So he got relocated at just about the worst time that you could have to re relocate. So he has been a busy guy. Poor thing. <clears throat> no, Alistair, I am not. <laughs> I am not the woman who turned herself into a potato on the conference call. Are you guys? I was going to bring that up, but that happened on like Tuesday. So I thought uh, everybody's probably seen that. But there was a woman um, who was on a conference call. I think she was using Teams or I'm not sure what she was using, but she turned herself like you can use different backdrops or like, you know, like the filters like you can on Snapchat. And she turned herself into a potato and she couldn't figure out how to turn herself back. So she was having this entire like business meeting and she looked like a potato. It was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, everybody. I'm going to do two more rolls and then I've got something else to show you. Man, uh, this would be 1947. We are finding some older, older coins, but, uh, you know, nothing worth keeping. They're not even upgrades to my book. So let's hope there's something else. 1946. I, we're getting closer. It's going to happen. I think there'll be a war nickel in here. Ben Detecting says, hey, Penny Dog, how are you doing? DMC Coins and Videos. Hello. Damon Johnson. Hello. It's good to see you. Oh, okay. Brad Burge. Awesome. I will check that out. Thank you. Thank you. Let me write that down. Let me write that down. Brad Burge video. Um, so, is Storm and CA still in the house? Because I want to see, as you guys know, Storm and CA is like, I can guess any show you throw at me. He said that about a month ago, and I think he jinxed himself. Because ever since then, he has not been able to name the TV shows that I've been showing. But our other mod, Alistair Black, has just been like, boom, mic drop. Got that one. Canadian. Boop, boop. Boop. There we go. Okay. Oh, another Canadian. Wow. Guess this is the Canadian role. Perry Barth. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to give you your mojo back. Although I, you're probably not going to get this one. This one, I will give you a hint. Maybe I shouldn't give you a hint. Mm, no, I'm not going to give you a hint because I'll probably just give it away. But it only ran for two seasons in the 90s. I never watched this. It looks really terrible. 
but that doesn't mean I wouldn't watch it. It means I probably would. I didn't even know about this particular show. And let's see who gets it. Did you watch this show? Just admit it. Any? Nope, not Viper. Nope. Prowler, no. <laughs> it was apparently a Marvel um, superhero. It was Panther, Prowler, no, uh-uh. Oh, you got. <laughs> Crappy Tim says Night Tool. Yes, it was Nightman. <laughs> Night Tool. Yeah, it was. So, <laughs> yeah, Dodge Prowler, oh. Uh, yeah, Nightman was a Marvel superhero, apparently. And uh, the story behind it is his name is like Johnny Diamond or something. And he's a saxophonist, saxophonist, sax player, whatever. And he um, gets hit by a lightning bolt. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> hold on. Tech support here. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Jack Beale says, what's happening? Sorry, I had to do a little tech support there. All is good now. All is good. Uh, I think everybody has turned had to turn into their own uh, IT department. So look who's here. It's Bella Sophia. Come here, Bella. Come here, Bella. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. She's shy. Bella's shy, except for when... Um, Bell, but I don't know about that, Bell. Maybe you might come here. There we go. There we go. Say hi. There we go. Here's Bell, everybody. There we go. Papa Giorgio in the house. It's good to see you. Hi, Jorge Luna. It's good to see you, everybody. This is Bell. She wanted to stop by. She's uh she was upset that that Brutus gets all the airtime. Right? Are you done? You you sniffing those coins? You sniffing the coins? All right, she's out. <laughs> they all say hi, Bella. They all say hi. All right, back to the hunt. Sorry about that. We just had, you know, now I got dog hair all over me. And again, today's left hand is brought to you by Michael Kittle Rare Coins, kittocoins.com. Be sure to check out his channel. He is a good guy. He knows a lot about coins. Somebody asked me a question and I know Michael Kittle is in the house. I just say, uh, I don't know, ask Michael Kittle. <laughs> just ask Michael Kittle, please, please, please. So we were talking about Nightman or Night Tool as Crappy Tim said, which that, ah, sir, excelente. I like that. <laughs> Oh, Storm and CA says she was sniffing it to tell you it's a skunk box. Pro yeah, it's looking that way. It is looking that way. And everybody, if you are friends with the turd, treasure turd, um, send her an email and just a quick like happy birthday turd. She is working. We were going to have a big celebration, but uh, she is on the front lines of this whole mess that we're all dealing with. And so she's working pretty much nonstop these days. And uh, I am in touch with her when she gets a break now and then, but, um, but I'm sure she would appreciate a birthday wish from you. Uh, Raymond 6700. I love Belle because she reminds me of my German short haired pointer. Oh, 
Rayman, I love I love short hair pointers. And you know, Freedom Coins has a German short haired pointer named Birdie, who Birdie just um, late last year in the hunting season was trained. But um, I think this year is going to be her first year to go with Freedom Coins out there. So she's a real, real cutie for sure. <clears throat> Dennis Stewart, hello. It's good to see you. How old is she now, Turdy? Um, <laughs> Rocky Mountain Bear, you're funny. Need pink gloves with the wrench. Crappy Tim, we have been sewing masks. Do you think she'd like some or use them? I, Crappy Tim, I think she would because she told me that um, that's what her coworkers are doing. So I'm sure she would. Absolutely. And I think her P.O. box is on her about page on her channel. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty sure. So let's see. Don't forget, we do have a mid box giveaway. I haven't counted the rolls. We're not, we've got a few more before we get there. We've got 52 watching, 63 thumbs up. Thanks so much, you guys. I love hanging out with you on Saturdays. It's something to look forward to for sure. And I appreciate it. Let's look right again. Look, Byron, the collector, that's his hairless cat Gollum. Look at those squishy paws. Those paws, I really just want to squish them. Squish, 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 squish. Let's see. Squish, squish. So cute. So cute. <sighs> All right, so more tech support. Oh, all right. Why? <laughs> uh oh, this is just real life, right? It's just real life when when everybody's at home and working. All right, let me show you this. This actually came from. My dad, uh, <laughs> we were talking about it on, I believe, Wednesday's show. Maybe it was last Saturday. I, I don't know. Is it yesterday? Is it today? Is it tomorrow yet? But this is one of the worst game show answers. And this lady is so proud of herself. Check it out. Chicken! <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, she was very proud of herself. Oh. Uh, one of the worst game show answers ever. Wacky Wing says, really? Really? Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if she wasn't so, you know, sure of herself. Oh, boy. All right. Come on. Let's get through a couple more rolls. And then she was so proud of that chicken. And then we're going to do our mid box giveaway. We've got our screaming goat here. <laughs> Serious. The, uh, the government just needs to hand these out to everybody. And then Rocky soup. That's compliments of crappy Tim, by the way, thank you for the goat replacement and Rocky superstar. <laughs> this is going to make bell come run running by the way. Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Crappy Tim, our cat is named Chicken and she just perked up. <laughs> you named your cat Chicken? That's cute. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. She was from the one where they, math is hard. Yeah. Math is hard. Let's just go shopping. Math is hard. Let's go shopping instead. <laughs> Come on. All right, I'm still setting these little bison aside for Debbie Honeybee. No problem, Debbie Honeybee, our Southern Belle of YouTube. I mean, your name just sounds Southern for sure. Okay, let's just do this mid box giveaway. And I've got to pull up because you guys know I am not good at guessing numbers. So I'm using the random generator random number generator all right let's see just a reminder of what we have we've got mid box giveaway as a three gram silver star 40 percent 
Kennedy half dollar, 1968, and a war nickel. What is the year? It's a 44 out of Philadelphia. That is our mid box. Let's listen to the rules and regulations compliments of our buddy, Treasure Turd. Hey, loyal viewers, it's time for a giveaway. We're going to put a range of numbers in the chat. Once you see the range, make your guess, but only guess once. If you guess more than once, we will only accept your first guess. We follow Price is Right rules here, i.e. the closest without going over wins. In the event of a tie, we will select the person who guessed first as they appear on Penny Dog's screen. Not your screen, not your grandma's screen, not your creepy neighbor's screen. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's put the range in there. The range, we've got 52 people watching, is 250 through 325. Guess one time. <laughs> 250 through 325. Put in your guess, everybody. Please guess only once and it's closest without going over. Let's see, can I put that in there? We'll put that right there. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, let's make this a little bit smaller. Nope, don't do that, don't do that. There we go. All right, everybody's getting their guests in. This is awesome. Penny Dog, look who made it. It's Suzy Q96. What's up, Suzy Q? Everybody be cool. There's some on the house. How's it going? Have you been metal detecting lately? Have you found anything good? WTH Coins and Silver, how are you? Glad to have you here. Cha-ching! Cha-ching Seeker is here. It's Suzy Q. You're just in time to get your guests in between 250 and 325. Guess only one time, please. How are we doing? Okay. I think almost everybody is getting in there. Give it a couple more seconds because you know all the delay and everything. And let's look at baby Robert one more time. Check out baby Robert, Samuel, Samuel Phillips, little son who's doing much better these days. And we are so thankful for that. Whew, so thankful for that. Boom. Baby Robert. All right. Is everybody in? Do, do, do. Give it a couple more seconds. I hear bell whining in the other room. I don't know why. All right. Guess only once. One time. It's like, uh, this always reminds me of um, like watching people put numbers in and then it kind of slows down. It reminds me of microwave popcorn. You know, you just listen. It's like you just wait until there's only like a, a pop, a kernel pop every three seconds or every five seconds and you're like, oh, it's done. Okay. And stop. All right. Let's get the random number generator, 250 to 325. What does Google have to say? 279. Okay. Let me scroll up because it's on my screen, not your screen, not your grandma's screen or your creepy neighbor's screen. 279 closest without going over. We have 277 right off the bat. Two, Karsten has 278. Did anybody hit it right on the head? I'm looking. <laughs> Don't touch your face with your gloves. Come on. Um, I think, I see, I think it's Karsten. I don't see anybody hit it right on 279. I'm just gonna double check one more time. I want to be thorough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It is Karsten, closest without going over. Congrats, Karsten. Karsten, woof, winner. Good job, Karsten. All right, I think I have a package. Do I have a package? Uh, nope, nope. All right, I'll send, I'll start a new one for you. I know mail is a little bit tricky there. So let me, all right, here we go. Mid box, Karsten, congratulations. Karsten, 
this. Boom. Karsten, you know what we do. We usually just I keep it for 30 days or 45 days to see if you win anything else or whatnot. And then I send it your way, sir. So congratulations. That is awesome. Okay, let's get back to it. Get back to it. All right. Let me refresh this because I think my YouTube's got a little bit of a lag going on. Oh, you know, it's about that time too. It's just about that time. There you go. There you go. Bubble butt. B bounce. <laughs> I really probably just do need to buy the rights to that song. I just don't want to have to pay for it every time I play it, though. Can't you just pay like a flat fee? I mean, come on. Nobody's listening to that song. They should be happy with what they get. With another sending me really weird messages. It's Susie Q. Yikes. That sounds, that seems weird. Sorry to hear that. Seems very, very weird. Hmm. And again, don't forget today's left hand is brought to you by Michael Kittle Rare Coins. Kittlecoins.com. Be sure to check out his channel. And if you're wondering why I just have this random 1948 nickel under the scope it's because that's probably one of the more interesting things we found in this box of nickels nothing like the box i had on wednesday oh do you remember that box oh that box on wednesday it had three more nickels and a buffalo and some proofs and oh man that was a good box yeah good times yep <laughs> trucking for silver hey penny dog just got back from the bank got some coins to go through heck yeah trucking my Ohio friend, OH, I O. So is everybody officially missing sports? I mean, have we, even the people that don't even really watch that many sports, are you kind of like, something's a little off? What minute? It's out of Philadelphia, Ben. Do, 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 I believe. Yep. So, yeah, it's really weird to see classic sports on. Uh, not a big fan of watching old uh, games where you know the outcome. I mean, I don't know what the point of that is. Not my thing. But, oh, Bell's, Bell's coming back for more. Do you smell more stunk? Oh, okay. <laughs> Michael Kittle says, I can't stand not having sports. Yeah, that's how a lot of people feel. It, you know, it is nice to be able to watch something. It's funny how the things that you don't even realize, like I'm not a huge sports fan, um, but I live with a huge sports fan. So, <laughs> so by default, I watch a lot of sports, but um, yeah, it's weird. The stuff that you miss when you can't have it. Like I really want a big, I want to go to Longhorn and get a steak with a loaded baked potato. I mean, that doesn't that sound good unless you're a vegan. Like, I couldn't say that if Turd was here. Well, I could say it, but she would be like, oh, that's disgusting. But, man, just going out and having a nice big steak and loaded potato. Crappy Tim is missing the Cubs. Yeah, if you're a baseball fan, man, because this is prime baseball time, you know? <sighs> I know. I know. If we all start watching classic games, that's when I draw the line. Do, do, do. <laughs> Is Handy Andy out? Are you seeing? Oh, got to do taxes and check on parents. All right, Handy Andy, we'll see you. It's good to see you. I hope the parents are doing okay. Tell them we said hi and to be safe, please. 1954. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Hopefully we get something good here. I want to show you guys an excellent as seen on TV. Now this is one of the original infomercials from the eighties. 
And I want to know if anybody's dad bought this product. DoorDash steak tonight. Yeah, might have to do that too. <laughs> okay, whose dad owned this product? Just spray GLH on and it instantly covers your bald spot, leaving you with great looking hair. And ladies with thinning hair or bald spot, GLH solves the problem instantly. GLH is not a paint or a cover up. It's an amazing powder that clings to the tiniest hairs on your head. It actually builds on itself, leaving you with great, great looking hair. That's incredible. I've been getting harassing for being bald. I'm only a young man. No more dates without being called old man, but the babes are back. The, the babes are back. Yep. Yep. And are we sure that it's not a, a paint? Are we sure that's just not a can? of the Halloween hairspray. <laughs> yeah, that infomercial, mwah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Man, ugh, dirty 64. The 64s get you every time. Crappy Tim, I'm sure I've seen the SNL spoof on that. I just can't remember it. What gringo? <laughs> Are you like as a joke? He used that? Come on. Now that would be funny. Maybe I should start buying some of these as seen on TV products. I mean, there are entire YouTube channels. I guess that's been there, done that, that devote, you know, an entire channel to uh, reviewing as seen on TV products. But I mean, that would kind of be a dream job, would it not? No way, Samuel Phillips. <laughs> no, but I'm writing it down. <laughs> All right, I will check it out. <laughs> That's awesome. I have to check it out. Yes, Harrison, the curse of the 64. Man, they get you every time. And weren't there, how many uh, billion? Wasn't it like, man, I'd have to get out the coin book. Where's Michael Kittle? How many did they did the mint produce in the 1964 nickels? It was something like two billion, seven billion. Yeah, it might have been even more than that. Too many. They're all floating around. Well, who is here? Bonnie and Clyde coins. How are you guys doing? If you guys aren't YouTube friends with Bonnie and Clyde, you got to check them out. They are some more southern friends of ours, and uh, they stream almost come on now they stream almost every night they're they're always putting out awesome content so please be sure to check them out it was a, there was a zillion uh debbie honeybee says yeah somewhere around a zillion 1.7 billion 1964 d's yeah and i think that i've found um at least 1.5 billion of those in all of my roles i'm pretty sure i found it of course, I've, I've heard of Lebanon and, and Dayton. Dayton's only a uh, hop, skip, and a jump from here. It's maybe an hour away. So absolutely. Man, I'm hungry and somebody's grilling out or cooking. What? Finally. Boom, you guys. Finally, finally, finally. We went almost through the whole box. Let me put it under the scope. Finally, finally. It's 1943 S. Boom. Nick Molnar says, meow. Hello. How's it going, Nick? We found a war nickel. We found, finally found silver. Dang. It's about time. That was a long stretch, was it not? Whew. Was it not? There we go. Yep. Sorry, Belle. Sorry, Belle. Not, not a skunk box. Nope. Nope. Not a skunk box. Nope. Uh -uh. We found silver. We will take it. We will take it. That is awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. Well, that is good because nothing, you know, having a skunk box of half dollars is one thing, but an entire box of nickel, that's a lot of nickels for nothing much to look at. So very happy.
The Webster says, now get a buffalo. Oh, pressure. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I will work on that. Absolutely. So what is everybody doing the rest of the weekend? Is anybody having a live stream going on? I know our buddy Temporal Coins mentioned that he might be doing a live stream. Temporal Coins, can you vouch for that, please? And uh, has anybody else got any anything that they want to share <laughs> with the class? Anybody have anything they want to share with the class? Come on. Okay. We've got about uh, 15 rolls left. <laughs> Gleason News, it's good good to see you. Greg King, you start a new job tomorrow? That's great. Uh, that's, that's great news. I mean, I know unemployment is up, but there's lots of companies that are hiring. They need the help. And if you are one of those essential key employees, we thank you for real, for keeping things moving along. Bonnie and Clyde says, we finally got halves regularly again, so we're back streaming nightly. Oh, that's awesome. Good, good, good. That is good. Okay, Temporal Coin says, yep, I'm thinking about doing a box of halves tomorrow afternoon. Okay, great. Be sure to check that out, everybody, Temporal Coins. And Storm and CA says, I'm doing a stream tomorrow night at 9 uh, Pacific. I'm also thinking about doing one tonight. Okay, awesome. That is super cool. <laughs> I heard music coming from my computer printer. Turned out the paper was jamming. <laughs> That's like, uh, I, uh, I get it now. I was thinking of the Floppatron. I've been showing Floppatron videos lately. I should have had a new one, but I didn't get one ready. I have to do that one again. Floppatron is absolutely amazing. Amazing stuff. Speaking of amazing, let's see. Oh, you guys, I know I've got quite a few as seen on TV, but I mean, that is just a, a deep well right there of potential, the as seen on TV. Check this one out. I want to know, did anybody actually purchase this? Whoa. Boom. You guys. You guys, another one, another run, next roll, out of Philadelphia, 1943. Nicolette's Hobby says, hello, Penny Dog and Chat. It's good to see you. You must be our good luck charm. We just found another war nickel. That makes two for this box. That is awesome. All right, this box is heating up. You aren't kidding. Let me finish this one, then I'll show you the as seen on TV product or video that I wanted to show you. I think you all, I know your humor. I think you guys will enjoy this one. Where is it? Here you go. It's a problem in the marriage bed that no one likes to talk about. Maybe that's why they call it silent but deadly. Well, now there's a real solution to a very real problem. Introducing the Better Marriage Blanket. On the outside, the Better Marriage Blanket looks and feels just like a soft, warm comforter. But on the inside, it contains a layer of activated carbon fabric, the same type of fabric used by the military to protect against chemical weapons. Flatulence molecules easily pass through the cotton shell. Do you believe any of that? Do you believe that that <clears throat> blanket is made out of the same material that the military uses to protect against chemical weapons. If, if you believe that, then I have some swamp land that I would like to sell you for a low, low price. Is that not <laughs> Michael Kittle coins? What the what? Marry me. It's good to see you. Thomas tripped on a nickel. <laughs> is that not insane? Oh man, that is crazy. D dub D W D dub wa D dub wa. How are you doing? I know I'm mispronouncing that. Hello from West Virginia. It's so good to see you. <laughs> wow. Yes, the box is heating up now. Now it's a little bit. It's a little bit more respectable. 
Because, uh, you know, things were looking pretty bad. Nothing like looking through an entire box of nickels on a live stream for two hours and finding a whole lot of nada. So I am glad that we found that. <laughs> Jonathan Reese, you're not kidding, man. And uh, yeah, you've got bigger problems if, if you need a blanket like that. You probably know, need to go see your doctor. The Flopatron Lake, yes, I love Flopatron. Awesome. <laughs> you guys are funny. I knew you'd like that one. 1946. Oh, let me get rid of the silver derp face. Brutus is just like, boom, I'm staying up here. No, no, Brutus. No, Brutus. He's all proud of himself. Our silver derp mascot. He has been so happy that we've all just been home lately. He gets all the attention. He and Belle. For sure. And if you guys were on Wednesday, you know that we had little blind Buckeye who Storm and C, I think it was Storm and CA or Rayman 6700 called the, um, the blind bomber Buckeye. <laughs> he is back home with his folks right now, but it was nice to have him. Um, Let's see. Brad Birch says, Penny Dog, Daniel from Coin Help, you mentioned your town a few days ago. Have you been to a shop in Portsmouth? I haven't. No. Uh, does he have a coin? I assume it's a coin shop, but that would be awesome. I wonder if they're still open. Probably not, but that is good to know when things loosen up a little bit. We can all travel and go do things and, you know, leave the house. Absolutely. That'll be so much fun. And like I was saying earlier, it's so weird the things that you the, that you miss. Wooster says, what up, Penny Dog? <laughs> it's good to see you. Nick Molnar, um, I had to have gotten your, your mail. I don't know. When did you send it? I'm sure I did a mail call. I usually do my mail calls at the beginning of my streams. So email me, Nick. I want to make sure that I, I got it. Rocky Superstar is out of here. See you, Rocky. And thank you again. I don't know if you see it behind this shoulder, but the, the dog you gave me is right there. Right there. Belle hates that thing, but it's really cute because she likes to knock it down. NCFXTI says, had to let my dog out. How is Buddy doing? NCFXSTI. He is a cute, cute dog. Little dumpster dog. He was a little dumpster find that NCFX STI found, and he loves his dad. That is for sure. I miss not having to delouse my groceries. <laughs> that is a pain. I mean, and and we're being very thorough here too. So we put it in the garage. We take everything out of its. You know, if it comes in a plastic container that has another wrapper, then we take it or cardboard container, take that off, then you spray it down and oh man. Oh uh, Debbie Honeybee, how far are you located away from Daniel's shop? I, I assume you're talking to me. Um Portsmouth is pretty far. I mean, not you know, it's about two and a half hours. That is along the Ohio River. We are right in central Ohio, and he's down there, down south. So, I mean, 1951, 1951 out of, I believe, Philadelphia. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so definitely we'll be wanting to go on some road trips once this is all said and done, for sure. <laughs> what? Rose Dragon's in the house. Rose, I haven't seen you in so long. Girl, how are you doing? How's your mama and them? Hope everybody is doing okay. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. And give that little boy of yours a big hug and his mama too. Um, glad that things have turned around for you guys. We are so, so happy for you. For sure. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Rayman 67 does online right now. This is a metal detecting find for sure. This came right out of the ground. There's no denying a nickel that came out of the ground. 
because they all look like that. They're kind of brown and red. They get really corroded and gross. And I'm trying to remember to set those little bison aside for Debbie Honeybee. I have a few over here, but might have to go through them again. I probably missed some, Debbie, and I apologize. Oh, Great Pyrenees. Solid white, nine weeks old. Looks like a big ball of fluff. His paws are already half the size of my hands. And <laughs> what is his uh, name or her name? That is awesome. Whoa. Oops. And don't forget, we are having an end of stream giveaway, which is a 40% half dollar, a war nickel that I found on Wednesday and a three gram silver star. These things are super cool. Ooh, shiny. Coin explosion, says Harrison. Yeah, I just, I just basically missed the entire dump bucket. I just go around and I know when I move, I'm going to find like $400 in random change under things and wedged into stuff. I just know it. You know, when you move and you're like, oh, that's where that went. Gotcha. Yeah, I was looking for that seven years ago, but oh well. Yeah, so it'll be really interesting to, to see what, what all I have dropped in this office, all what kinds of coins, because I'm sure there is a lot. Absolutely. Let's get the bobble dog going here. Doo -doo -boo. <laughs> all right, we've got uh, 10 rolls left. See if we can find anything else. We've found two war nickels, no buffalo, no proofs. But I'm happy to have happy to have those more nickels. So it wasn't a skunk box. And thank you for my mods for hanging around. And thank you for you guys sticking around. I know as the weather gets better, uh, hopefully this time slot is still good for everybody. Because I don't know about you, but Ohio is just coming out of like what seems like six months of winter. So it's hard not to want to just, you know, be outside constantly. Maybe I should start streaming from outside. Hmm. Yes, Rayman 6700. I will have a, <laughs> I'll have an entire box of dirty 72 halves that I've thrown and that have uh, just miscellaneously, you know, landed somewhere. So you're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, Nick Molnar cleaned his office and found a bunch of, <laughs> coins. Yeah, I know. I bet. I bet that happens all the time. Opportunity knocks. How's it going? Roy Hathaway. Hey, how are you guys? We've got 68 people watching. I'm so happy you guys are here. I look forward to this every single week. I apologize that Turd couldn't be with us. She is working. She is hard at work. It is her birthday. And uh, I am sure she would love, there is her email, treasureturd2019 at gmail.com. I'm sure she would love a birthday uh, wish from everybody if you can take a minute to do that. Because as you know, she is on the front lines of all this stuff. She is in the medical field and uh, she's, she's helping people out. So we thank her and everybody else that is doing stuff, still working, those essential employees. I don't know where we would be without them. That is for sure. Okay, I still have. Oh, is Mike the Greek still here? Is Mike the Greek still here? I meant to do this earlier. Mike the Greek. Let's see. Silver Finder. Uh, wife is an LPN. Oof. Well, thank you. Thank her for doing what she's doing. That's got to be rough. Okay, Mike the Greek says, yep, I'm still here. So I wanted to do a shout out to Mike the Greek's wife. Mike the Greek's wife has a channel called Winsy Creek Art where she does poured art, um, like poured paint artwork, and it's super cool. And on April 1st, she uh, did poured art with tiny hands that I had sent Mike, and I want to show you. I, I fast forwarded it so you can see the the entire, for the most part, the entire video, but you have to check out Whimsy Creek Art. And let me see. Here we go. Enjoy everybody.
How cool is that? Is that not super cool? You have to check out her channel. I found that even editing that video, it was super relaxing. I was like, and she always puts, I had different music because I had sped it up and edited it, but she always puts nice music behind her videos. And um, so you guys, it's called Whimsy Creek Artwork. And if uh, maybe one of our mods can look up her channel link and post it in there, that would be super cool. I would appreciate that. <laughs> she robbed the hands from me, Mike the Greek says. She put them to good use for sure. I love that video. I love that video. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, we're down to the last handful of rolls. We'll see what we can find. We have, hmm, that is shiny. It's not in very, very shiny. Shiny 63 might be, might be an upgrade for my book. Although the back isn't that great. But the front is, hmm, I'll put it aside. I'll put it aside, see how it looks. Check it out a little bit later. Whimsy Creek Art, you are welcome. You are most welcome. I really dig your channel. Um, sometimes it's nice to, you know, check out what other people are doing on YouTube. I, I'm always fascinated by the content that is on YouTube because so many people are really talented and uh, they, they put their artwork or or just their, their content, what they're good at on there. And I love your videos. So everybody check out Whimsy Creek Art. Thank you, NCFX STI. Oh yeah, S. Robbins recently had a great white Pyrenees show up on my front porch at the door. He was thirsty, then off to the vet, has a chip and found the owners. Oh, his name was Doug. <laughs> Doug the Great Pyrenees. I always think it's really funny when people name their their dogs uh, just human names like Greg and Doug. I just I don't know why, but it always just tickles me. I think it's hilarious. Probably because I always name my dogs, you know, dog names. I, don't know, I think it's cute. And the Webster says, "Glad Doug got back home." <laughs> Silver Finder has a quarter book with no quarters in it. <laughs> well, you need, we need to fix that. Come on. We need to fix that. We've got five rolls left. We're going to see if we can find anything in here. And at least, well, we can't top. I doubt we're going to be able to top Wednesday's box. Wednesday's box had three silver, uh, well, 30%. Silver War Nickels and uh, a Buffalo. What else? We had a, a Proof and a couple. We had a Gold Toner one. Very, very interesting. Got to remember to set those bison aside. I have to say that a million times so I remember. So we found two War Nickels. I will take that. Nick Molnar, we named our cat Lincoln. <laughs> our Brad Birch says, our dog is named Kevin. <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, you guys are so funny. Okay. I have one more thing to show you. This is one of the best worst. This is in the best worst local commercials. This is out of St. Louis, Missouri. I know a lot of uh, people that watch are from Missouri. I don't know about the St. Louis area, but perhaps... You remember this commercial, Best Worst Local Commercials. Hi, I'm Fred from Dirt Cheap. What better gift for any occasion than a package from Dirt Cheap? Cheap, cheap, fun, fun. Yes, it's cheap, but most of all, it's fun. The recipient will love it. And best of all, the more she drinks, the better you look. I don't know about you, but I need all the help I can get. Please come visit us. We are grateful for your business. Thanks. Be careful out there. Enjoy the journey. There you go. Yeah, Alistair Black says, bet he's making a killing right now. Yeah, <clears throat> I bet you are right, Alistair. <laughs> Steve Files. Uh, I know. Best worst local commercials. 
there there is a plethora of that stuff on the interwebs of course that was just a dirty 64 that made me double check i can't stand spending my time on dirty 64s and i'm gonna do it again yep i'll find that one when i move not worried about it now two rolls left see if to find something <laughs> all right you guys What's everybody doing the rest of the day? Yard work, sitting around. Hey, Temporal Coin Sets, if anyone is interested, I got a 400 giveaway video going on right now. That is awesome. Let me refresh that. Yeah, you guys, uh, be sure that you're always refreshing your, your feed because especially these days, things are just really seem to be delayed. So... When in doubt, just refresh it. That usually helps. Here is another shiny 63. Huh. That one's a little bit nicer than the other one. We'll put that war nickel back, though. It's Susie Q96 says, trying to get seven more subs to do my giveaway. Well, we can do that. We've got 63 people watching now. I'm just gonna wait here until everybody goes and uh, subscribes or supports It's Suzy Q96. Just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead. She only needs seven more people. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Roy Hathaway says my retirement fund is on the floor. Yeah, well, at least it's safe there. It's not, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So I'll get it. <laughs> Nick, that's terrible. If you don't like your neighbor, that's one way to do it. What train watcher Dawn, a new puppy found us. Does anyone have a preferred dog DNA test? I want to figure out a breed. We think she's a lab pit bull mix. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see, where is it? I just had this out the other day. I have, um, so this is Bella's. Uh, what is the name of the company? Wisdom Panel. Wisdom Panel. And you can actually get these at Amazon and they'll send it to you. And um, Train Watcher Dawn, it will, you just do a swab and send it in. And Bell is a, whew, Bell is a mix, mix of a mix. Check that out. So, yeah. But it's really interesting. So, She's got some foxhound in her, some cane corso, Japanese spits. Isn't that weird? She doesn't look anything like that. A little bit of beagle, English setter. So, but that's just the percentages. So she's mostly just mixed breed. But wisdom panel is what I used with Bella. And to be honest with you, I I did it twice just to compare, and it came back exactly the same way. So I can I can vouch that. Uh, you know, they're not just randomly putting dog breeds in there. So, oh man, S. Robbins, Doug the dog was a herding goat and they sold the, a herding goat, a herding dog and they sold the goats. And so he was looking for, God, that's depressing. I mean, don't have a herding dog and then sell the, the herd. Jeez, what is that? Nope, 81, dirty 81, 55, 55, I think. Let's see, 55 what? 55D, boop, oh well, put the war nickel back. <laughs> All right, this is our last roll and then we are going to do our end of box, end of stream, wrap up and giveaway. So far, well, not so far, but it was a pretty good box. We did have two 1943, one out of San Francisco, one out of Philadelphia, War Nichols. We had, let's see, one, two, three Canadians, some Debbie Honeybee, <laughs> uh, bison that she wanted me to keep, and some older coins that I'm going to check on my book, but nothing to write home about no buffalo sadly no proofs those are for debbie honeybee right there this was awesome 
Uh, the Webster, it, it's Suzy Q96 needs the uh, the supporters. So just click on the little buttons on the right side of her, her name and it should take you to her channel. And I know that she would appreciate that greatly. Boom. All right, you guys, I think it's about that time. It is time for, I want to make sure that I got everything that I wanted to show you. Yep, yep, yep. Got it all. And just a reminder, we've got our three gram silver star, our 40% Kennedy half dollar and a war nickel that I found on Wednesday. Let's hear those rules and regulations one more time. Hey, loyal viewers, it's time for a giveaway. We're going to put a range of numbers in the chat. Once you see the range, make your guess, but only guess once. If you guess more than once, we will only accept your first guess. We follow Price is Right rules here, i.e. the closest without going over wins. In the event of a tie, we will select the person who guessed first as they appear on Penny Dog's screen. Not your screen, not your grandma's screen, not your creepy neighbor's screen. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. <laughs> okay, everybody, wait until you see it in the chat. We are going to do... All right, we, <laughs> Jimmy Lacari. Everybody says 43. <laughs> uh, the range is between 400 and 475. Okay, go ahead and guess between 400 and 475. Let me put this over here. And again, this is the old number. I've got the range. So when I hit generator to pull up a new one, Michael Coretta said 443. He was like, I, I'm getting this one. It's like, I'm getting it. And one last time for the stream, let's hear it for Bubble Butts. <laughs> hey, Les Lex Coins, how are you doing? You're just in time for the end of stream giveaway. Please pick a number, pick one number between 400 and 475. <laughs> Bubble butt on that pup. That's right. Okay. We got 65 people watching now. You think Roy, Roy thinks that Treasure Turd should get a commission for the giveaway rules. <laughs> she probably should, right? Is everybody getting their guess in? Give it a couple more seconds. It's Susie Q. Did we get to your did we get to your uh your goal there, girl? Hopefully we did. And if there are other people in chat that you aren't uh that you don't know if you are YouTube friends with, go ahead, make YouTube friends with them. Absolutely. What big mill hunt silver, sir? It is good to see you. Welcome to the chat. You are just in time for the end of stream giveaway. Pick a number between 400 and 475. I will wait. I will wait for you to just go ahead, Big Mo. Go ahead. I'll wait. And don't forget. Oh, you can't see that. Today's left hand is brought to you by Michael Kittle Rare Coins at kittlecoins.com. And if you haven't made friends with Big Mill, please do so. Big Mill, are you jumping in? Are you jumping in? Oh, it's Susie Q did hit her goal. That's awesome. Okay, thank you, Big Mill. And stop, everyone. Let's see. What the goop? 400 on the nose. Interesting. Is this really random? Okay, somebody probably guessed that. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. I think somebody hit it. Coin hunting for life. Had it first. I don't see anybody else that had it. Doo -doo -doo. Right on the nose. Coin hunting for life. Winner. Congratulations. Coin hunting for life. Please. I know that I don't have your shipping address. So 
please email me uh, to claim your giveaway and send me your shipping address. Web what did I win? Uh, webrolls at gmail.com uh, and coin hunting for life. I just want to make sure you are of age. You are over the age of 18, correct? Correct, correct. Please verify that in your email to me. And what you want is a three gram. Let me get rid of that. Boop. Three gram silver star has a cool design on it. A 40% um, silver Kennedy half dollar and a war nickel. And congratulations to you. And please email me with your shipping address. Coin hunting for life. All right, let me write this down. You guys, what weird times we are in. And don't forget, on Wednesday, if I can get it all together, if I can get it all together, I'm going to have a box of halves up for donation on my first donation stream uh, on Wednesday. We'll see. Hopefully, I will make a, a, an announcement video. So, in Galagos, it's Susie Q. 96 Temporal Coins, Freedom Coins, NCFX, STI, Stormant, CA, Rayman 6700, Alistair Black, Everybody Be Cool. Those are our mods. Uh, I want to thank Michael Kittle, Rare Coins, Kittle Coins, Roy Hathaway, Silver Finder, Karsten Hunt, Silver, Das Wolf, Les Likes Coins, Jimmy Lacari, Baseman 64, Papa Giorgio, Big Mill, Hunt, Silver, Crappy Tim, It's Crappy, Not Crappy, um, <laughs> Nicolette Tobbies, Steve File, Coin Hunting for Life, Jay Lewis, Jonathan Reese, Michael Coretta, Fleabag, Jorge Luna, Tilly Cheese, Shane Holbert, everybody, if I missed you, I am so sorry. Byron, the collector, tell Gollum we said hi. You guys, I have so much fun doing these things. I hope you have fun too. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, Stay away from each other, six feet. Okay, everybody, we will see you all on Wednesday for sure. All right, bye everybody, it's good to see you.